Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is Two of Cups dot read and welcome if you guys are new or simply passing through. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so you don't miss out on my energy updates that I have for your sign, Sun, Moon, Venus, and rising signs in Gemini. So I'm going to do a past, present, near future energy reading when it comes to your person of interest, when it comes to your love life, or let's just say relationships in general. Now, things might get kind of weird here, as it has been in my last couple of readings. I'm just going to give you guys a forewarning that it may be a bit chilling, because I feel like this deck here, like no joke, has very specific messages for very, very specific people. Now, when I say that, doesn't mean that if it doesn't resonate with you that this whole entire reading goes out the window for you. No, just know that if it just this little segment doesn't resonate, it's okay. It's just meant for that person to hear and for that person only while the rest of the reading still applies to you, okay? I will clarify the energies that I see that comes through, at least some of them, and I will ask Barry here for some advice at the end of the reading. You can ask me if you have personal questions in regards to your person for a personal reading. Just direct your questions to my email, which I'll provide in the description box below this video. All right, Gemini. So as I was meditating on your energy, okay, this was a very specific energy that I was seeing here. It seems like Gemini or a specific Gemini or two Geminis or you guys maybe both have Geminis in your chart somewhere. Maybe you are aware of it or you're, maybe you're not. But I'm getting very strong Gemini, Aries, and Taurus. Okay. There's also Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in here. But there was once a situation. I mean, at the bottom of the deck, the energy shows that there was a loss. Okay. A loss between... There's a loss that happened between you and this person. The Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Cups came out. When I was meditating on your energy about the recent or distant past, that's you experienced you experienced a significant loss. Now, here's the interesting part that had me confused. Because did you know at one point, Gemini, which you may sound kind of, it's just this is what Spirit was giving me as a specific message. Did you know in the beginning, they were actually more obsessed with you than you were obsessed with them? Okay, now I don't typically see that in the decks itself in the readings, but that came very, very clear and came through very strongly here. There was definitely a lot of attraction between you both. I mean... It, it's, it was obvious to anybody and their dog that it was clear as day. You two just, you, you two <laughs> both were just, like you could just see sparks flying. Now the thing is, I'm kind of getting this person's either kind of shy, a little bit timid, or they thought you were. Okay, and so somebody here was a little bit afraid to approach or afraid to kind of go along with it they're like in the back of their minds they're always kind of like okay how why does this person like me and that's what i was thinking here like that's what i was feeling the spirit was sending me it's like you and this person you guys hooked up or you guys were really into each other i mean there was definitely great chemistry here okay when you guys saw each other it's like fireworks it's kind of what i'm seeing here and they were just in their fantasies of you gemini you know, they've literally bolstered themselves with fantasies of you. They couldn't really uh, deny you, reject you in this specific deck. Okay, this man, just kind of man or woman, take it how it resonates for you. But I'm feeling this is your person of interest. Just kind of was a little bit like... Oh, wow. Like, you know, as soon as you respond or as soon as, like, after you guys went on a date or saw each other, like, they just wanted to tell everybody. <laughs> Show your picture to everybody. You know, that's the kind of energy that I was kind of getting here. But here's what kind of took the whole reading to a turn. Somewhere along the way, <clears throat> something happened. He now holds back, now is disappointed, feels like lives so long in these fantasies. He's 
wondering here if this was really the real woman the real man like someone was just caught in the fantasies of another person so I don't know if here something came out something was said um, something was done it, it was kind of like somebody here was just like whoa this is not what I expected but see this person made a really calculative decision they didn't make it off of based off of their feelings they just got scared is kind of what I'm seeing like something you two really hit it off you caught feelings they fell in love they fell in love with the idea of you you were like picture perfect you're perfect for them they thought you were too good to be true you thought they were too good to be true but what I'm seeing here is you may have fallen in love with a player you may have fallen in love with a person who couldn't commit. You may have said or done things, said things and may have turned this person off. I'm going to just call, say it, you know, or they may have said something, did something and turned you off. Something here was a little bit turned offish for somebody. And that's what Spirit is talking about right now is this person who you feel like, man, that was maybe the one that got away. Okay, so we have five of cups with the chariot here with the eight of swords. I'm also kind of getting here for a lot of you guys. You guys kind of had an upset, kind of had conflicts. You guys had issues in the relationships in the beginning. But for some of you, you guys were able to work it out. And some of you guys are still in separation. Even if it wasn't anything big, nothing really big drastic happened. I'm kind of getting here, uh, somebody just kind of ghosted or somebody here kind of pulled back, withdrew their energy, even though they were intensely, intensely into you or it, this whole thing in the beginning. You knew it, you felt it. It was just, it was hot, it was heavy. It was, you know, I'm going to clarify why the sudden withdrawal. I'm kind of getting here, somebody here was just a little bit turned off by something. Um, and it could have been something that you had no idea you did. Okay, you could have been a little bit turn offish for them, but completely not a turn off at all for somebody else. You know what I mean? So don't take it too like. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm just kind of seeing here how the energy is flowing right now. Is you guys are both so into, and then all of a sudden somebody here kind of retracted their energy and was wondering maybe if it's just not going to work. Okay, so this is what the reading is about, who this is about right now. Please don't shoot the messenger. Let me see here. Uh, what's going on right now in the present moment here for Gemini, please? I will I definitely want to see this energy. We'll clarify that at the end. What's going on right now between Gemini and their love interest at this time? How do they think and feel about them at this time? What's going on right now between the energies between Gemini and and their person, thank you. <clears throat> so there's that, that person wanting that second chance. It could be you, could be them. Someone here it told you there is something here that someone feels kind of guilty about. They feel like they have an idea of what they did to send that person away or to make that person lose interest. This is the person that I'm picking up right now. Like they know. It's not like they have no clue what they did wrong. Like this person clearly was like, shit, I did that. You know? I kind of feel like they had a really good reason whether they were you know, kind of dealing with something emotionally. I feel like the energies here were really difficult for this person to... Oh. The present energies right now show, Gemini, that you and this person still have a connection, but you guys are both refusing to speak. Okay, there's a lot of aces all over your reading. This was the very first time that this really happened to you. It's like, man, why did I have to make myself look like a fool in front of the person that I, wow, I really, really, really like. You know, it's like, you know that energy that I'm feeling right now, Gemini? I don't know if you guys can relate with this. But, you know, when it's like, imagine like you're just going out 
with your friends for some drinks or you're just kind of going out somewhere and you're not really hoping to meet anybody special or spectacular or really not really trying to date anybody or meet anybody that day but then you ended up meeting like the love of your life when you're like not at your best or not looking your best or not feeling your best or just your energy and your vibe is just kind of on a different planet on a different level than how you normally would feel that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling like they caught you at a really bad moment or a bad time or when your energy wasn't completely aligned like wasn't you weren't being completely yourself and this person may have been a little bit tr like turned off by something you said and you kind of feel maybe you were maybe a little bit clingy or maybe you were a little bit needy or maybe you said something that they kind of took the wrong way. The interesting part of this whole entire reading here, Gemini, is that both of you guys are still thinking about each other. Um, you guys are kind of both refusing to speak or you're maybe refusing to reach out or reach out again or this person is I don't know choose a side that you more resonate with but I'm seeing here the energies very clearly it's like somebody here is clearly wanting a second chance and like hey I was stupid I wasn't being myself like will you forgive me okay look at this you guys are both kind of thinking about each other they feel like they have good reason to cut the situation out, to walk away from this whole thing entirely, or you do. Somebody clearly is like, no, this person doesn't deserve a second chance, or I don't want to deal with that drama anymore. That was crazy. But see here, this is very interesting. What's being shown right now is that both of you guys still have very, very strong feelings for each other. We have the Magician and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Let me see here what's coming up for you guys in the near future. This person could be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, another um, air sign like yourself. What's coming up for Gemini and this person? Hopefully this reading resonates more for you guys than it does for me. I just kind of feel like somebody here is thinking like, man, why did I do that? You know, and it's, it's not even anything that you really have to feel guilty or stupid about Gemini because... You were doing what you felt was the right thing to do at the time. You know? That was what you were feeling at the moment. You don't feel sad. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad for it. That was you being true and being real to yourself. That was what you were really going through. And that was honestly what you were feeling. But yes, I also see here emotions could have also taken a turn because there was a little bit of a player energy there. Look at that. What comes out between you two is coming together. There's something about this reading here, Gemini. It's like this person has not forgotten you. Okay, yeah, I told you there's a little bit of a player vibe coming through and it's the Knight of Wands. This person may have made you feel like they were just playing around like they didn't really want to I don't know like they gave you this like in and out hot and flighty sexy and flighty energy like um how do I say it? it's a little bit player like um like they had like a commitment phobia or something where they sensed that you had one but then there was also something really strangely intense going on between you both. And not just sexually, physically, it's emotionally. We have all these damn cups over here, okay? Nothing but cups over here. And remember, I told you, I picked up this energy here. I was like, when they met you, Gemini, like, they didn't want anything, anyone else. They, you were, like, running through their mind all day and night. But then here something happened. Okay, I'm going to clarify the energies coming up for you guys in the near future. I do see communications and I see here a love offer. I see you guys coming together and working on, this, on, on the relationship. You may be feeling like, yeah, right, there's no chance, no way, no how. But all I see here are cups, okay? All I see here are cups and these are 
romantic feelings. We have the Knight of Cups. You guys know the Knight of Cups with the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past returning with a love offer. Like, you have not left their feelings. And I can't make this reading up even if I tried. It's like, they... They kind of know, I don't know who this is, like, they kind of, like, see this as, it's like a funny situation what happened between you both. Definitely a memory they cannot forget. Whatever happened between you both, it was very special and very unique. They see you as their person. They see you somebody who they sit on the throne with. They see you as somebody who, they're not just very, very, very crazy about you, like, physically. They also, there's something about you, your quirkiness, your uniqueness, like, some the way you talk. Maybe sometimes, you, like, you talk their ears off. I don't know why I'm kind of getting, that's a very specific message. You may have said something to them. They, like, was annoyed, but at the same time loved it. I don't know, that's for somebody here. Hopefully that made sense more sense to you than me um i do have here this person wants you back gemini let's clarify this reading real quick let me see here i told you i wanted to clarify that um what happened in the past this was them changing their mind but before they that happened they were more obsessed and obsessed with you like so into you more into you than you were into them Okay. Like prior to you, there hasn't really been anybody or anybody worth mentioning or anybody that looked damn nearly as good as you or as attractive or anyone that really caught their eye or attention. And it wasn't just like a physical connection. I'm not getting just a sexual relationship. I'm getting, yeah, both of you fireworks were kind of going off, but. It wasn't just that. I mean, this is a very deep soulmate connection. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Cups here, Six of Cups, Emperor, with the Nine of Cups, <clears throat> King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this was for them like, you know, they felt like this is, they met their match. They were holding back a little bit. They were holding back a little bit for sure. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles here for why the sudden, um, I mean, the page is really serious. This is someone who's very serious and someone who's also very intelligent. Okay, now, they were either in school or they had to really concentrate and really apply themselves in other areas of their life and they felt you were a huge distraction. But when they reflected back, they saw you as someone they just not only desired, but someone who gave them like a jest of life, like somebody here who, you know, You made them want to work harder at whatever it was that they were doing. Hopefully that makes sense to you. You made them wanted to really apply themselves. They were obviously already applying themselves. They were like, you know, knee deep into something else. And they saw you as a distraction. They couldn't handle it. But their feelings never left. They're actually a little bit annoyed that they can't get you off their mind is what Spirit's showing me. They also felt like they were maybe not as well off or was not in a um, better position. You were maybe in a better position than they were when they had the Page of Pentacles at the King of Wands. Like maybe you were more advanced in your career than they were. They were still in school or they were going back to school or they felt less experienced. But you motivated them, you stayed on their mind, and they felt like you were their match. I do see here for a little bit, they were holding back. They were holding back, okay. Um, they were scared to invest because they knew that if they were to invest into this, this would uh, maybe be the, the last relationship they'd ever have. 
Because that's how strongly they felt about you. I'm not kidding here, you guys. We had the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, let's take a look here about what's coming up. Because we have the Magician and the High Priestess. This is a very soulmate, strong soulmate connection, Gemini. Okay, rest my case. They're lying to themselves right now. You're maybe not hearing from this person, but there is sadness on your person's um, picking up sadness. Like they are not talking about you, acting as if they're okay, moved on. They're being a little bit of a hermit right now, but that's a, that's a, that's a lie that they don't think about you. Okay, we have seven of swords with the five of cups with being the hermit. Okay, wow, Gemini, what a reading. Definitely reach out if you guys want to tap into your person's energy, get your energy update on your specific person, how they think and feel. Ooh, Gemini, look very soon. Clearly decide what you want, who you want, okay, so that it comes to you now. I do see here there could be, you may have moved, you may have moved on. You may have moved on wedding. There's this situation involves marriage some way, shape, or form. Okay, you two are both obviously still very, very into each other. But I'm getting here right now, present moment, showing there's little to no communications. And somebody's really hoping for forgiveness. Somebody here is kind of acting uninterested, but they really are. They haven't spoken. They haven't said anything to you. Maybe you have not heard from them in a while. But I'm seeing here you're still very much on the back of this person's mind. I see here, like... You may be a little bit intimidated. You may be a little bit afraid to reach out and really tell them how you feel. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, that's what I have for you guys. I love your reading. This feels like a very specific message here. If you guys need a personal reach out, um, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I hope this video helped, and thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Gemini.